Comet 3I Atlas crashes into Earth, and a wave of widespread destruction starts shaking our planet. Ginormous tsunamis are swallowing coastlines. Devastating earthquakes are cracking the ground. Hot debris is igniting massive firestorms. Thick clouds of dust are blocking the sun. Now, that's what could happen if 3I Atlas, a massive comet traveling through the solar system, collided with our planet. But can this disaster actually occur? When will 3I Atlas be the closest to Earth? Let's figure this out. First of all, this comet turned out to be way larger than we previously thought. Its weight is likely a whopping 33 billion tons. Let's throw in a few comparisons to put it into perspective. The Eiffel Tower weighs about 10,000 tons. So, 33 billion tons is roughly the weight of 3.3 million Eiffel Towers. Impressive! Next, all the cars on Earth, and we're talking about 1.5 billion vehicles, each weighing about 1.5 tons, weigh approximately 2.25 billion tons. This means that the comet's mass is 15 times greater than the combined weight of literally all the cars on the planet. And finally, compared to buildings on Earth, 33 billion tons is equal to several large metropolitan areas made entirely of steel and concrete. But the whole idea of how big this comet is fades in comparison with an even crazier fact about it. It could be unknown technology from a different galaxy. And some experts are somewhat sure about that. But why? 3I Atlas was first spotted in July by NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. A bit later, the US Space Agency confirmed that the object was an interstellar object, only the third we have found so far. Before, it was Comet 2I Borisov that passed through in 2019, and Amamua, a weird elongated object that appeared in 2017. But the newest comet with its up to 3.5 mile nucleus dwarfs Oumuamua, which is just a quarter mile long, and Borisov, which is about 0.6 miles across. By the way, some believe that the comet could be even bigger, up to almost 7 miles, but scientists haven't found any proof of that yet. Besides its size, 3I Atlas is different in other ways too which makes some scientists question its origins. The object is shedding huge amounts of carbon dioxide and dust while zooming towards the sun. It's most likely the proof that 3I Atlas is more massive than the other two interstellar objects by three to five orders of magnitude, which is basically a serious anomaly. The comet is also traveling toward the sun incredibly fast, we're talking about around 130,000 miles per hour, which is almost 170 times the speed of sound. Another weird thing is that this interstellar object is following a straight trajectory, unlike anything else in the solar system. Most space bodies move along curved orbits due to the force of gravity. That made some researchers believe that 3I Atlas might be a probe sent by another civilization to explore Earth possibly with not-so-friendly intentions. Their theory is that the object could be a technological artifact, a sign of cosmic intelligence. You see, the comet moves in a pretty weird way that doesn't totally line up with just gravity. Its trajectory also takes it close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. And researchers think that these planets might be especially interesting for another civilization to pass by. <laughs> Another bizarre fact, the space traveler also spins backward compared to most stuff in our solar system. This might be necessary to make it easier for 3I Atlas to get near Earth without much resistance. Some scientists think the comet's odd spin and flight path could help whoever or whatever made it take super precise measurements of the planets, things like their orbits and sizes, to plan a perfect route through the solar system. If 3I Atlas suddenly changes direction in a big way, that might mean it's using some kind of built-in engine instead of just drifting through space. There's also another theory that suggests it could be a piece of unknown tech that's still active. 
There's no need to worry though, at least at the moment. The comet isn't coming anywhere near us. NASA says it'll stay around 150 million miles from Earth when heading toward the Sun. So the question is, where do such space visitors come from? Astronomers have found that the three interstellar objects we discovered came from totally different parts of the galaxy. And each of them has its own age and background. 3i Atlas turned out to be the oldest, about 4.6 billion years old, and it came from the Milky Way's thick disk. That's a region filled with older stars that have fewer heavy elements. 1i Oumuamua is much younger, around 1 billion years old. It came from the galaxy's thin disk, where new stars are still being born. Oumuamua, Hawaiian for a messenger from afar arriving first, was the first known object from another star system to pass through our solar system. Basically, the first interstellar guest. It was super stretched out, about 10 times longer than it was wide, unlike anything else we've spotted in space. It also sped up in a way that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. Changes in brightness showed it was tumbling end over end instead of spinning smoothly. At first, scientists were confused because the space body didn't have a tail or a cloud of gas like a normal comet, even though it was accelerating. That led to a lot of debate about what it was made of and where it came from. Just like with 3i Atlas, some people wondered if it could be technology created by a space civilization. But most scientists now think Oumuamua was a totally natural object, just a really weird one. The best guess is that it was a comet releasing invisible hydrogen gas, which caused it to speed up slightly. Sadly, by the time astronomers found it, it was already heading out of the solar system, so there wasn't much time to study it. As for 2i Borisov, it sits in between at roughly 1.7 billion years old. It also came from the thin disk. It was the first confirmed comet to come from another star system and it gave scientists a super rare peek at what materials beyond our solar system were made of. The comet was discovered in 2019 by Gennady Borisov, an amateur astronomer who actually built his own telescope to search for faint space objects. Unlike the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, which looked more like an asteroid, Borisov behaved like a classic comet. It had a bright coma, that's a temporary fuzzy atmosphere of gas and dust forming around the comet's nucleus as it approaches the sun. Plus, it boasted a long tail of dust and gas. Studying 2i Borisov helped researchers learn more about how other planetary systems form. Observations showed that its dust grains were compact and that the amount of gases like carbon dioxide changed a lot as it approached the sun. It could mean that the comet formed under very different conditions than anything else in our solar system. Now, 2i Borisov is speeding away from the Sun and will never return. But it allowed scientists to take a unique glimpse into the chemistry and history of distant worlds. Interestingly, the differences between these three space objects suggest that interstellar visitors have been getting kicked out of planetary systems all across the galaxy for billions of years, so it's not something new. To figure out if 3i Atlas might be some kind of probe from another planet, scientists are checking for any signs of technology, like strange radio signals, electric activity, and weird movement patterns. If the comet suddenly changes course or drops smaller objects nearby, it might be our cue. But even though 3i Atlas is moving in a pretty wild and energetic way, it's most likely just a natural interstellar object passing through. Researchers say they'll need a lot more proof before anyone can seriously say the space wanderer was sent by someone from another planet. What do you think about this newly discovered space traveler? Share your opinion in the comments! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.